Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks a Pack, and today we've got a twofer because it's Jumpstart. Jumpstart, probably, I would say, my favorite set of 2020. I saw a couple of these in Target tonight. There were like six on the rack, and I was going to get a Commander Legends pack, but I was like, uh, I was like, oh, quantities must be limited. So, here we go, we're going to do two Jumpstart packs because that is the way god or wizards of the coast or whoever uh intended it so with jumpstart jumpstart packs come with 20 cards a piece and the idea in case you're not familiar is you take two packs and you combine the contents into one ready to play deck you just take whatever's in the two packs mash them together and that's it you you play with whatever whatever you get out of the two packs they come with some basic lands uh, including some that are unique to the set, but there are other cards that are unique to the set as well, which we hopefully, hopefully we'll get something pretty juicy. There are some very, most of Jumpstart is reprints, but, but there are a few unique cards in Jumpstart that hopefully, maybe, one of these two packs might contain. Now they're wrapped in this nice little bit of plastic here, as you can see. And uh, there will be 20 cards in here. And when we, when we flip it around, we will know the theme of this pack. There, There's, I think, 40-some-odd themes that you can get out of a Jumpstart pack. And we're going to turn this around now. This pack is a... This pack is a Minions pack. I don't, I don't remember anything too terribly exciting coming out of a Minions pack. Uh, have gotten this one a few times. But I like Jumpstart a lot. There's a lot of possibility in jumpstart and some some quite some quite spicy cards that are printed for the first time in the set it's mostly reprints but there's about 80 original cards in here as well and so our rare for minions maybe sometimes there are two rares in a jumpstart pack as well so here in minions we have kells the fight fixer that's actually not too bad a pull um yeah, see, this is one of the few uh, unique cards in the set. If, if I can get it to unblur here. Yeah, there we go. See, there are 78 unique cards in this set. And this is number 15 out of them. Kells the Fight Fixer is a Warlock who has Menace. She's a 4-3 Azra Warlock. I don't know if Azra means anything special. But whenever you sacrifice a creature, you may pay black or blue. And if you do, you draw a card. And... Tap one mana, sacrifice a creature. Kells gains indestructible until end of turn. She could be fun. She's a she's a saucy little minx. And so we have... And then from there on out, you get a few uncommons and commons from various sets that kind of go with the theme here. Like, this is... There is obvious... Minions are to be sacrificed. And Kells is the one who sacrifices them. So you got some uncommons here. This Witch's Cauldron. And uh, from Core 21... Uh, bone picker. You can tell by the fact that there's no set number. Like it's just two twelve. It's not two twelve slash something. You can you can tell that it's a reprint from some of. There are lots of reprints here in old Jumpstart. Eliminate from Core Twenty One. There's a lot of Core Twenty One stuff in here as well. You'll see that all throughout. Innocent blood. Each player sacrifices a creature. So yeah, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. That's the theme here. And you'll you'll get a few, you'll get like anywhere from like 10 to 12 cards and then you'll get your basic lands which aren't too aren't too terribly exciting except for the unique one. Oh yeah, and you usually get a thriving land out of these. This is a the, they have a thriving land cycle in Jumpstart, which is a it enters the battlefield tapped and it you choose a color other than the one that was the color of the cards in the pack and then you tap it you add that color or one of the color you choose so as far as tap lands go these actually aren't too bad and they've gotten pretty cheap over time but uh i'm usually a little more excited to see what uh what the uh unique basic land looks like like okay so here we've got this like kind of grave graveside thing going on we got a swampy here and uh, yeah, you can see down in the corner, this is yet another, yeah, 54 of 78. There are, there is a unique land for each theme and some of them are, some of them are pretty cool looking. Uh, and then the rest are just like 
core 21 basic lands, you know, swamps for days, whatever. Doesn't matter that much. Pack number one, uh, not super exciting, but Kells, I always like to get an original card out of out of the jump start packs. The original cards are the ones we're here for. But maybe something, maybe hopefully something a little saucier in pack number two. So if we were to play a jump start game right now, we would be we would be combining minions with <gasps> oh! <laughs> Ooh, this is an extremely rare one if I am given to understand correctly. We would be combining minions with all the colors of the rainbow. We would be tasting the rainbow. I think this is a this is the first time I've ever seen a rainbow pack. And uh, I hear it is something to get excited about. So here we go. All right. Rainbow, show me what's up. All right. And in a rainbow pack, I'm not entirely certain of the contents of a rainbow pack. But it would seem we have Maelstrom Archangel. Costs Wooberg to cast. It is a mythic. Oh, it is a reprint though. But it is a mythic. So we did get a mythic pull. A 5-5 angel with flying. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast a spell from your hand without playing its mana cost. That is... That is interesting. Okay. And we have another rare here. A Chamber Sentry, which has... All the colors in its color identity down there. An artifact creature construct uh, enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. For each color of mana, spent to cast it. And for X and tap, remove X plus one, plus one counters from Chamber Sentry. It deals damage to any target. X damage to any target. So that's not as exciting or rare, but we are going to see a lot of stuff in here. Rainbow is kind of a difficult one to run into, if I understand correctly. Uh, Dinrova Horde. Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of reprints from here probably return target permanent to its owner's hand then that player discards a card yeah so here's a here's a fusion elemental that's a really old card reprinted here in in jumpstart costs wooberg it's an 8 8 elemental wow for five mana i mean mirrodin's core put a charge counter on it you can tap it for colorless you can tap it and put a charge counter on it, or you can tap it and remove a charge counter one mana of any color. I'm interested to see what several of these cards are all about. Raging Regisar. Whenever it attacks, it deals one damage to any target. So we're going to see some Iron Root Warlord. That, I think that's a Guilds of Ravnica card right there, if, if I remember correctly. Alloy Mirror. Tap. Add one mana of any color. Yeah, just any color. Augur Spree. I have, a lot of this stuff I have never seen before, but I can tell it's reprints. I just... Don't know what from. Target creature gets plus four, minus four until end of turn. Wow, good grief. Uh, the power might not uh, might not matter too much if they get uh, if they get nuked by by whatever. So Terramorphic Expanse, Law Mage's Binding. That's a Ravnica Allegiance card. I remember that one. That was a common. Nothing to get too excited about there. Prophetic Prism. Draw a card. And for one and tap, add one mana of any color. So got your rainbow mana rocks over here. Rupture Spire, not a terribly exciting land. Skittering Surveyor, not a terribly exciting. So, yeah, but I, I'm i just... Oh, Prismite, good lord. I actually, like, throw these things away on sight. I've seen so many of them in my life. And it looks like... How much we got here? We got a we got one of everything. A forest, uh... Yeah, five lands. The whole... The whole rainbow, indeed. Nothing, nothing unique land-wise in a rainbow pack. But, the fact remains... It's a rainbow pack, and that is a tough one to come by. It's the first one I've ever seen myself with my own eyes since since buying Jumpstart packs. So yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say we had a pretty good day here. We we'd be playing Rainbow Minions with someone right now if we were playing if we were playing Jumpstart as intended. Pick two packs, take whatever's in it, do the whole thing. And there you go. That is our day. Say goodbye, Miss Archangel. I'm going to fly away and cast all the free spells I want. Whee!